It's Patrick Legreed from Half Wheel, and this is the third and newest iteration of a very popular lighter, the ST DuPont Mini Jet. Now, it came out late in 2021, and depending on how eagle-eyed you are, you'll notice a few things, namely a new vent design, went to the straight version here as opposed to the uh, sort of the S style that was on the previous iteration. Interestingly, behind those are strips of charcoal that are designed to help purify air on the way into the lighter, which I find absolutely fascinating, and if it works, maybe something you're going to see coming to more lighters. Uh, the ignition now goes all the way down to the base of the lighter, as you can see there. Previously, it stopped just short and sort of kind of docked in a little in a little opening there, but it did not go all the way down, as in this version. Now, officially, it measures 33 millimeters by 54.5 millimeters by 12.5 millimeters. That's 1.3 inches wide, 2.15 inches tall, and just 0.49 inches thick, so just under half an inch and it weighs 50 grams or 1.76 ounces. Very lightweight in terms of comparison, but very well built. It does not feel you know, light or cheap or anything like that. Now it's available in 10 color options, nine of which cost $150, and the 10th, which is in a gold option, is $160. And you'll notice that while most of the options are fairly familiar in terms of colors, there's a black version with a skull, and this white option with a bullseye design on one side, and I think both of those are a bit more contemporary. And it's something that we've seen with the options of the hooked lighter that I reviewed recently. And all of them come with a two-year warranty for normal use. Now, as with previous iterations, it's a pretty straightforward lighter. You simply squeeze the side here and you'll start the butane flowing and get the spark to light it, giving you a single flame torch that is really, really impressively precise. So let me turn the lights down a little bit and show you what that looks like. So again, a really nice single flame. It is on the small side, no lie there, but really, really precise. Probably one of the more precise lighters that I've used recently. It is certainly more geared towards thinner ring gauges, uh, Lanceros, Coronas, things like that. It won't scorch the sides of your cigar. It can handle bigger ring gauges as well. You just may take a little bit longer, but a very capable, very nice lighter. And again, Ignition, very solid, no problem getting a flame, seemingly every click. In fact, I can't even remember a misfire. Unless there's butane, as long as there's butane in it, I should say, you're going to get a nice flame coming out of the top of this mini jet. Let's turn the lights back up. There's not a lot of features on this mini jet. There's no punch cutter. Uh, there's not even a fuel window, which if you know me and you've watched a few of these reviews, you know how much I love that. Uh, I've come to soften my stance on that a bit, and look, I certainly understand the challenges of adding one, but would certainly rather have one than not. Thankfully, we're talking about a cigar lighter and not a car here, where knowing how much fuel you have left means different things in different applications. Now, in terms of performance, this is great. I mean, it really is. It is a great lighter. Works solidly. There's nothing to complain about. I do have to warn you of one thing you may not think about, and it's this metal section up top. It gets hot. Really hot, in fact. As in, like, don't even think of touching it hot. I'm doing my best to avoid not touching it here, and I can even feel some heat from the lighter just from that little demonstration I put on. So, it's so hot that you really sort of have to adjust how you hold the lighter. Now, I've sort of gotten used to doing it like this, it works, but you see how far down my hand is and really not a lot in my hand. Another way to do it that I think is really good in particular for this model is to turn it sideways and sort of do this. And you got to find the right spot because this ignition does have some resistance to it. It's, you know, you want to keep your kids away from lighting it and doing something or having it accidentally ignite in your pocket because that certainly wouldn't be good. So you got to find a little spot and then you can move your thumb down. But this is an interesting way to do it. And you'll notice in the photo, it's it's sort of like, the, I mean, it's kind of an interesting way to look at it, but it's definitely seemingly more of an inversion style in terms of how you put your hand. The big thing is you just got to figure out a way not to touch this. And I mean, this isn't too terribly bad, but boy, I let that sit for a second and I am feeling hot metal on my fingers. Now, beyond that, for everyday use, this is a great lighter. The torch is super precise, as I mentioned. It makes it great for cylinder cigars or touch-ups. It can certainly handle bigger ring gauges as well. Now, as expected with the smaller size, the fuel tank isn't huge, so expect to fill it up more often than other lighters, 
which if you're going out and don't have a can of butane handy, can present a challenge. But beyond that, there's really not much to complain about. And again, price notwithstanding. So again, this is the newest version of the ST DuPont Mini Jet. I'm Patrick Legree. Thanks for checking out this video. For complete coverage of the premium cigar industry, visit halfwheel.com.